our director of home theater, so basically the head of uh, everything going on today and throughout this week of theater shop. We have about four to five hundred associates that have flown in from Victoria to the East Coast. All here in Toronto get trained on the latest in home theater with a focus on the fall and holiday. So I'm really excited to share with uh, you some of the hot stuff and some of the uh, old is new again too, which Eric will dive on. And uh, Eric will tell you a little bit about what's happening in Coming and uh, spending time with us at our little shindig here. Uh, as Elliot said, we have about 500 associates uh, from across the country uh, at the show. Uh, and we have about uh, 200 um, uh, members of the uh, vendor community. Uh, trends of consumer electronics industry yeah, that one too. Uh, this isn't the industry it was five years ago uh, and uh, you're going to see that from some of the products you see the wireless connectivity uh, that's now on you know most of these tv sets you, you re we look at tv sets now almost as you would a smartphone uh, it's no longer a place just to watch the football game but it's now a place where you can actually media uh, you can uh, play games, you can surf the internet. Uh, there's so much you can do now with the television. It's, it's just an extension. When's the future show TV now? Um, so, uh, you know, it's a tough environment out there. It's been this way for four years. Uh, sales aren't coming easy. Uh, but there's a lot of What's happened over the last five or six years now is that people are enjoying music, you know, you can have a you know, collection on your phone, or now it's in the cloud. Uh, YouTube access, which is one of their most prized entities, uh, apps, and really a seamless experience that you can't find on any other product. And it really starts with this device right here, the remote control. Um, this has been one of the biggest things with smart TVs that it's always been kind of that hindrance. It's using the television remote. Whereas with this, this is the kind of device that you can use any skill level that you have. It has a trackpad like you would on your PC, so you can see the mouse is scrolling in the background here. You have your normal directional arrows that you'd find on a conventional TV remote. And on the flip side, you have a full backlink QWERTY keyboard. The remote control is very smart because it has an accelerometer built in that it knows what side I'm on. So if I'm navigating the interface using this mouse pad and I accidentally tap buttons on the bottom, nothing happens and vice versa. If I start typing here and I start running my finger across the mouse pad, it doesn't work. So this remote control opens up a lot of opportunities for us. As apps start to grow on this device, we're going to be able to take advantage of this sensor for gaming. So imagine playing a racing or flight simulator game or using this almost like a PlayStation Move controller or a Wii controller. So those kind of things are what makes this device very unique. But right now, whenever you're watching television, for example, Fire this back up. Got my Rogers cable box here. I'm watching TV, and all of a sudden something comes up on there, and I go, "Who's that actor? Or what's that song playing in the background?" And normally, what you naturally do is you either reach for one of your devices, you reach for your phone, you reach for your tablet, you reach for your computer. You're doing that Google search, and you're doing this, right, looking back at your TV. With Sony Internet Player, with Google TV, now you flip the remote around, and I hit this little search icon. And what it's going to allow me to do is bring up this taskbar that we're so familiar with. If I want to look something up, for example, I saw a commercial. I type in the first two letters of a word, it starts auto populating. I can do a full Google search now on the Future Shop website, for example. And because this uses Google's Chrome browser, this is the best browser hands down on the world. If you use a PC or a Mac, if you're not using it, you should download it. Best browser out there. What's fantastic about this is the way it scales too. Um, if you've ever tried surfing the internet on a television or a PlayStation or any of those products, you usually get black bars on the side. They don't offer flash support. You're gonna get X's coming up when you have photos come up. This runs everything the way you would on your computer. And what's nice about it is, as the browser comes up, if I want to bring back my television, um, I have a picture-in-picture -picture button. So by hitting this button in the corner here, I can bring back that image that I was watching in the background, and it starts playing. So this is what makes that internet and TV experience so seamless, because I've never stopped watching TV. It's still there in the corner. And I can bring up the mouse here. If I want to go and bring up the Future Shop website, it's going to load up. It supports all the Flash, HTML5. So you'll have that experience going back and forth. And the way the box works, this is it right here. Your cable box, or your satellite box, actually plugs into here. So normally, your cable box plugs into your television or to your home theater system. It goes right into here. And the reason why, this becomes a universal remote control. 
So I can jump back and forth between the browser and television. And what's cool about this is the remote control has all the buttons that my Rogers box or Bell Express box would have. If I want to go and see what's on my PVR, I hit the DVR button. It brings up all of my recordings. I'm using the up-down directional arrows. I can turn up the volume using this remote control as well. Yeah, fix the home theater. Um, but I have all the controls that 90% of the time I need to access. Getting into my guide, getting into my PBR, turning up my volume, changing channels, all that functionality is taken care of with this one remote. So leveraging our relationship with the DNM group. We're, we're no longer an independent company trying to come up with technology solutions on our own. We can take advantage of what our sister company, Denon, has already done and embellish that with high-performance audio. So uh, this is the new AV, AV receiver lineup from Marantz. Um, starting at the top, um, a few years ago, we introduced a model called the AV7005. It was a huge success for us. So we can pass through 4K information if you have it in its native form. What's probably more relevant for more customers sooner is the fact that we can convert any video source, regardless of the connectivity, all the way up to 4K. Now, that doesn't mean we can turn a VHS VCR into a Blu-ray. Uh, garbage in, garbage out. But it does mean for higher quality sources, such as Blu-ray, we can up convert to 4K once the customer has a display. Play the Angry Birds at one point. If you're Say no, you're probably lying. <laughs> You know, like I said, they're, they're talking to the TV as well. Even if you just want to power on ITV, power on to come on if you want to change the source, ITV source, or even direct commands to certain, certain features like the web browser, Skype, uh, and various other applications that we have in there as well. So I know we're limited for time, so that's the 75 inch. If there's any additional questions, I'll be more than happy to ask. But the one other thing I want to show you in the future shop to really show the conversions of Samsung. One of the strengths of Samsung is that we don't make just TVs. We also make mobile devices, laptops, digital cameras. And everything that you see on this display right here can interact with one another. The vignette is the starting point, but we also want to highlight how we also have printers and even a washer and dryer that can be communicated with your mobile phone. So if I come out of here for a minute, this is a all share control. I can control my television, but I can also control the washer. <laughs> now someone may ask, well, why would you want to have uh, control on your washing machine on a mobile phone? Well, there's a couple reasons. One. Uh, energy in certain provinces, energy is actually cost more in certain times of the day than others. So to maybe load up the laundry machine and then wait for a certain time and then want really good sound, uh, want to be have the ab ability to also move around the house. So the advantage of this audio dock is it's got pretty much every type of connection you can think of. Bluetooth, all share play, which is our DLNA certification to work with our devices, as well as AirPlay. other iOS devices on there as well. Our TVs, again, the part of the uh, one great demonstration that I have on here. I'm going to go uh, to, let's say, I wanted to take a look at some of my photos on my phone. And I'll use... So there's a picture of my son. I can tell that. Jeff, what's the availability and price of the dock? Six ninety nine suggested retail, and the, it's starting to hit the sales floor now. So Future Shop will have that. Uh, very Good for condo well. owners, all in one. That yeah. don't want speakers, maybe kick it around. Uh, so, well, it's got the built-in two speakers plus the subwoofer. The other unique thing is it uses vacuum tube technology. Do you guys, any of you guys, know vacuum tube? One of the great things about using vacuum tube is that these devices are great to get smaller, but they're all digital. And one of the problems with digital is sometimes uh, it doesn't have the warmth or that, that analog sound. Especially with MP3s, one of the side effects is you know clipping, you start to lose some of the mid-range. So by using vacuum tube technology at the preamp stage, we actually can create warmth and then at the